Hello, Arnold. In front of you is Toxorhynchites, the largest mosquito on the planet with a wingspan of 12 centimeters. Don't be afraid, dummy. It doesn't need your blood. This species feeds on the nectar of flowers. Be careful, there are ants in here. And what's this? Did you know that mosquito saliva contains enzymes to anesthetize the victim and drink his blood discreetly? But the females don't need the blood for themselves. They feed babies with it. And yes, only females drink blood, and males feed on flower pollen. Better not breathe. A hungry female will smell the CO2 you exhale from 20 meters, and the menthol gum won't help you. They still find you by the heat of your body. But even a thousand mosquitoes can't suck out all your blood. It'll take a million and a hundred thousand hungry insects. Oh no, Arnold, you disturbed the bullet ant colony. When it bites, a burn is formed on the skin, equal in pain to direct contact with fire. The neurotoxin panerotoxin enters the bloodstream, which attacks the nervous system, paralyzes the limbs, and causes excruciating muscle spasms lasting up to 36 hours. From the bite of a thousand ants, you'll get so much neurotoxin that you'll experience hallucinations and problems with the supply of oxygen to your organs. But but you will survive. In the tribes of South America, in this way, a boy is initiated into a man. Now you're a real man, Arnold. You deserve likes and subscriptions to the channel. Oh, I completely forgot. Mosquitoes carry diseases from sick animals, such as malaria, dengue, and Zico. Arnold, Arnold, don't tell me you're gonna drink from this lake. But. Don't worry, Arnold. If a leech gets into your digestive system, it doesn't have time to harm you. It'll quickly dissolve in your stomach. But you have more than one leech inside you, buddy. You're now the face of the social program, Affordable Housing for Leeches. There are more than 500 types of leeches in the world, but only three of them are considered valuable for humans. It would take just 10 minutes for 335 leeches to suck all the blood out of you. And you, Arnold, have one thousand of them every second counts to get rid of the leeches you have to drink salt water sorry arnie i didn't have another bottle drinking water from that lake was a bad idea arnold even a leech is smart compared to you its neurons were used for a biological computer called the leechulator it can add prime numbers, and you can't. But don't go rushing to celebrate, Arnold. It seems you've somehow attracted the attention of some really dangerous little dudes. I understand it's hard to believe, but you better not move, buddy. Arnold, let the bees bite you. Bee venom is cool. It contains many beneficial substances that can defeat even fatal diseases. But in your case, you're more likely to die from a heat stroke than from a thousand bee stings. Bees covering your body will heat it up to 47 degrees Celsius. Ooh, Arnold, you're good. Indeed, electromagnetic waves from a mobile phone can disable a bee. A bee is like a navigation system with a bunch of sensors pretty much like a tiny little airplane. Apparently then, when flying, just like with big planes, mobile phones must be turned off. In fact, if you put a mobile phone operating at a frequency of 900 megahertz in a beehive, then all the bees will evacuate within 10 minutes and never return. And the winner of the leeches versus bees battle is no one. It's a draw. Arnold is the winner as the most fearless but stupid person. How do you like Australia, Arnold? Don't move! It looks like that's an inland taipan. Hey, dumbass! That's the most venomous land snake on Earth! The taipan's venom is 180 times more toxic than a cobra's. A drop the size of a pinhead can kill 1,000 rats. And 44 milligrams of this venom, which the snake injects in a single bite, can kill over 100 Arnold's. 
Running is useless. The taipan does not slink away after the first bite like other snakes, but continues with a series of lightning-fast, super-precise attacks to finish off the victim. These 13-millimeter-long fangs just injected a powerful hematoxin into your blood that prevents it from clotting. This leads to internal bleeding. You lose control of your body. Your limbs stop obeying. Breathing becomes difficult, and convulsions begin soon after. Oh, don't worry, Arnold, that's not blood. That's urine. Your muscle cells literally begin to dissolve and leave through your kidneys. Due to this, your urine becomes red. If you don't take an antidote within 30 minutes, then for the next eight hours, during what's left of your worthless life, you will experience hellish pain that will make you beg to be finished off sooner. Arnold, where are you gonna live now? It looks like in the woods. Well, I'm not even worried. You probably already know that you gotta stuff leaves under your shirt to keep warm, filter your drinking water, and no, don't eat anything, idiot! So, while you're not yet too far gone, listen carefully all around you. The noise of a tractor can be heard from three to four kilometers away, a dog barking two to three kilometers away, a train going by can be heard from 10 kilometers away, and BTS songs, well, you can always hear them. Yee, what's that, Arnold? Ooh, just look. This little kid, he's lost, just like you. After all, slow lorises live mainly in tropical forests. Don't even try to pet him, Arnie. Lorises lick their elbow joints, which secrete a deadly venom so their bite can kill you. You should follow animal paths. It'll be great if you can find flowing water, a stream or river. Here you can get food by catching fish. Yeah, uh, Arnold, doing it that way, you'll be here all day. And as you can see, I was right. Night is the most dangerous time in a forest. Hey, uh, buddy, I think you ought to spend the night here in this tree. Yeah, it ain't the Ritz, but it sure is safe. In the morning, you need to get to a clearing so you're visible to rescuers. Finding a person in a forest is a very special operation involving rescuers, volunteers, and the military. The terrain is divided into squares, and each one is thoroughly combed. There was a case where somebody who was lost without knowing it ended up looking for himself. This guy managed to get out of the forest, didn't tell anyone, and joined in the search looking for him. You can be seen from the air if you make a fire. It's best to throw fresh foliage on it to make it really smoky. Oops. It's not the rescuers who found you, but a local hunter. He saw your fire. Congratulations, Arnie. You made it home. But wait, you rented it out. Decided to go on a trip, did you? The cheapest ticket on a cruise ship is $860. Get in the box. Hurry, you schmuck! While all 6,000 passengers and almost 2,200 crew members are posing for a photo of their anniversary cruise in front of the ship, you have a chance to get on board. At the moment, we don't have any ad revenue. Or any money at all, really. Hey, don't touch anything here. Somehow, your imbecility is heraldic, Arnold. You've managed to fulfill the dreams of oh so many. To be absolutely alone on a massive cruise ship. Woohoo! For just a simple seven day trip, they have more than 12,000 eggs, 380 kilograms of ice cream, and two tons of seafood and meat on board. This amount of food will be enough to last you around five years if you eat it all by your lonesome. After going on a cruise like this one, people on average gain up to three kilograms of excess weight. Cruise ships have a ton of entertainment, so much so in fact that for most passengers, seven days isn't enough to do and see it all. Oops, looks like we're out of fuel. At full speed, the ship burns up to five tons of fuel per day. Now you'll drift in the ocean just like all the other cruise liners do, because it's cheaper than staying in port. Arnold, looks like your vacation's gonna be a wee bit longer than we expected. A whole month has passed. I wonder where this current will carry you. Congratulations, Arnold. Now the whole world hates you. Yeah. 
Pack your bags, schmucko. Your vacation is over. Arnold! Congratulations. You're now in the clutches of the wildest and most hostile tribe in the world. And they don't like guests very much. I'm afraid they're gonna eat you. From your skin, they can make eight drums. From your veins, five bows. And from your empty skull, a big mug. And your scalp is gonna decorate the chief's body. Arnold, where are you going? Wow, I didn't think aliens really existed. These guys are going to do something really useful with your body. Your body consists of 70% water, 24% organic matter, and 6% inorganic substances. In a cucumber, there's also a lot of water, about 85 to 90%. So technically, you're a very emotional cucumber. From the remaining 6% of inorganic elements, many useful things can be created. In your body, there's enough iron to make a nail 6 centimeters long. Your body also can contains enough copper to make a pair of headphones. And all of this while you still remain alive. You can even remove most of your internal organs and still go on living. The human body seems fragile, but you can live even without your stomach, spleen, 75% of your liver, 80% of your intestines, one kidney, one lung, and almost every organ located in your pelvis and your inguinal cavity. Of course, you'll hardly be like a cucumber, but it won't kill you. And you will have those free headphones of somewhat dubious quality. But these are all useless things. In fact, the composition of your body includes carbon, hydrogen, sodium, and oxygen. All these chemical elements are also part of dynamite. The hidden explosive power of the human body is equal to 175 grams of TNT. In fact, the strength of the explosion will be in direct proportion to how much you like salty foods during your life. Where are you flying to? At least check the map. Ooh, looks like you flew right into the Bermuda Triangle. According to rumors, planes and ships often disappear here. Arnold, where did your jet wings and clothes go? Seems like the rumors are true and you're about to disappear. Science doesn't recognize the strange things taking place in the Bermuda Triangle. However, there are several non-scientific theories. According to one of them, everything that disappears here ends up in a parallel universe. Look, everything's a little different here. You look strange even to this dog. As you can see, your house has also changed a lot. I advise you to be careful there. Meet Arnold. This is Arnold, although from a parallel universe. He's much more successful than you and even sports a stylish mustache. And it looks like he doesn't like you at all. At the bottom of the Bermuda Triangle is the mythical city of Atlantis. Don't ask, because I have no idea why the ancient Atlanteans needed all these planes and ships. But ancient customs and traditions are harsh. Someone like you will be immediately turned into a slave. Or if you can't handle it, you'll be turned into fuel for steamboats. Careful, Arnold, new vehicles are arriving. There is another theory. Everything that happens in the Bermuda Triangle is due to aliens. And perhaps they're taking vehicles to study human technology or putting it in a museum. Just look at how much stuff they have in their exhibits. Since aliens are poorly versed in terrestrial life forms, you were placed with mushrooms. Don't be offended, Arnold. It could be because of your haircut. You won't be bored for long. They say aliens abduct people for a different purpose. You must get pregnant and carry their alien baby. Sorry, Arnold, but aliens are also bad at gender. Did you finally wake up? It seems that at this altitude, you passed out from a lack of oxygen and had some crazy dreams. And this blackbird mistook you for a rival. As I said, from a scientific point of view, nothing unusual happens in the Bermuda Triangle. Calm down, Arnold. No planes, ships, or people disappear here. Provided, of course, that their jet wings don't run out of fuel.
Relax. You're in the middle of the ocean with no one to disturb you. There's not a soul within a radius of even hundreds of kilometers. Don't cry. I'll help you survive, you little jerk. Just listen carefully and remember everything I tell you. First of all, it's absolutely necessary to find clean drinking water. The easiest way is to lick the dewdrops that collect on the raft. Not that, Arnie. That's bird shit. Alas, the number of such dewdrops is way too small for you to survive long. A more difficult way is to find some kind of tank to collect rainwater. But you might die before it ever rains. So let's move on to the third method, and the most difficult one. Arnold is too stupid to pull this off, but you, dear audience, listen. From two containers, a bag, and a weight, you can build a water distiller. Put the salty ocean water in the large container and it will evaporate, gathering at the center of the bag and dripping into the smaller container. And voila, your freshly distilled drinking water is ready. Arnie, time to go fishing. Eat everything you catch that doesn't look poisonous. Algae, plankton, jellyfish, and even small fish can be caught with just a simple t-shirt. Yeah, it might taste like shit, Arnie, but who the heck are you? to complain. I don't advise you to look at the ocean for too long. The sun's rays are reflected from its surface and will burn your eyes. You will no longer see the world, but the world will still see you. It's better the other way around. Arnie, you should build a canopy over the raft to shield yourself from UV rays. Thermal shock in the open ocean is guaranteed death. But, however, a storm is coming long before the sun can even begin to threaten you. Imagine if a wave caught you not in the bathroom, but in the sea. The Black Sea is, in fact, also a large bathtub, just the size of 340,000 cubic miles. It would take about 243 million years to fill it up. The sudden movement of tectonic plates causes waves. The seabed rises several hundred meters thereby creating the deadly tsunami waves. We're now located in Portugal. The highest waves in the world are formed here. It's like a cheetah, but in the world of waves, because its speed has already reached 60 miles per hour. One Hawaiian surfer caught a 79-foot wave here. For this, he got into the Guinness Book of Records. Have you ever heard of a killer wave? These are single waves around 80 to 100 feet high, which can't be seen even from a ship. They can appear suddenly and imperceptibly. Therefore, there's very little time to save a ship's crew. Killer waves can sink a ship in just one hit. Even Conor McGregor would envy such a knockout. The largest wave on record was formed in 1958 in the Lituya Bay in Alaska. The wave reached 100 feet in height and covered the mountains approaching the bay. As a result, all vegetation up to an altitude of 1,700 feet above sea level was destroyed. And this is the height of five and a half Statues of Liberty. On a shore, nature itself will hint at the approach of a tsunami. Animals feel the disaster coming and begin to rush somewhere in a hurry or behave strangely. Birds form flocks and fly away. If on land, get in a car. On a bike, run. Ask King Kong to give you a lift at the very least. It's advised to get to a height of 120 <gasps> feet above sea level. Arnold, you better get to the top floor of the Empire State Building. The skyscraper's height is 102 floors, or 922 feet. The elevator goes up at a speed of 700 feet per minute, so you definitely have time. Oh, well, that's also possible. Don't shout underwater, otherwise you'll choke. Keep yourself conscious by any means. Get up, lazy butt! I have something for you, Arnold. You now have just 24 hours to live. 24 hours to live. I think you should Google what to do in such a situation. Yeah. First, clear your browser history. And here are the top three answers to this burning question. How would you spend the last day of your life with loved ones? I think for you, Arnold, this probably ain't the right answer. The second option is to gorge yourself on junk food. Well, you already do that every day. And finally, number three, spend the day at the ocean with a loved one. Ooh, it just got interesting.
Arnold, aren't you really going to do what you've been dreaming of all your life? Whoopsie daisy, somebody ran out of gas and money. Money, money, money. Great idea! You can get a loan and really live it up on your last day. Get the maximum. You'll feel like the richest dude on the planet. Jeff Bezos, the owner of Amazon, makes enough money to buy a new Tesla Model S every 50 seconds. You're rich now, Arnold. You can rent your own plane and fly anywhere you want. What are you up to? Wow, you're gonna take Tagaya from her boyfriend and take her on a trip with you. Arnold, you're my hero. Ah, if only we could turn back time and make this moment really last. What if I told you it's possible to keep the day from ending? You need to overtake the sun. To do this, we gotta fly west along the equator at a speed of 1,667 kilometers per hour. If you can fly at that speed, the day will never end. Regrettably, this won't affect your lifetimer in the slightest. It's your last few seconds, Arnold. You're alive! Wait, what's that? A dating app? That's smart. Your head fits perfectly on this jacked up body. Lucky you. But now, in order to go on a date, you have to spend 18 hours and 45 minutes on a plane. Because this is the longest flight in the world. And you screwed up again. Now you have to complete three tasks to meet your chosen one. Or just survive. Let's see what your advantages are. Small brain, feeble hands, fast food lover. Everything is like in real life. Now choose your skin. You can't go on a date empty-handed. Find something, Arnie. Hmm, the biggest flower in the world. Phew, it stinks like rotten meat. If your girlfriend was a fly, she'd appreciate the fragrance. These cute creatures simply want to give you malaria, anthrax, or diarrhea. Nothing crazy. What, they did already? There aren't many public toilets in the jungle, but instead you can do it like our ancestors did. <gasps> this is a scavenger, Arnie. They pick up everything that stinks. It'd be better if you washed in the morning. Get on the vines! They can handle even an elephant. Hmm. After one and a half hours, the gastric juice of the python will completely digest your bones. You need a knife to cut the belly. That would have saved you on a date with a woman, but not with a python. I caught a python. Let's see what's inside it. Only I can be the survival expert here. Cow! Get yourself in order. You have a date soon, what? and you're covered in mucus and slime. You survived and didn't even lose a single finger. Jumanji! Oh. And finally, you've got yourself a real girl. Or not. Today, he'll go to the Amazon to get acquainted with the local inhabitants. Which ones? Piranhas! There are about 50 different kinds of piranha, of which only a few eat the flesh of living beings. All other species are either vegetarians or eat only carrion. Arnie, guess what piranhas you're gonna meet? My smart boy, you're right! Fortunately for Arnie, and to the disappointment of our viewers, in science there has never been recorded even a single case of piranhas attacking and killing a person. Well then, we're gonna have to create such a case. Arnie, jump in! 
As you can see, you're absolutely uninteresting to them. And what's more, they're even afraid of you. Aggressiveness in piranhas depends on several factors. The first is heat. Add temperature, please. Thank you. This hell will drive anyone crazy. During a drought, the water level in the river drops and finding food becomes much more difficult. This leads to a second huge factor, hunger. Starving piranhas are ready to eat even their sick, weak relatives. And where does that leave you, Artie? The third factor that affects their aggressiveness is the need to protect their brood. Mom and dad don't like it when their kids are disturbed. Add a small bloody cut as an appetizer and you, Arnie, are ready to meet the piranhas. The structure of their jaws allows them to tear out large chunks of meat from their prey. Razor sharp teeth, four to five millimeters long, can bite through tendons and even small bones. Arnie, you can forget about your fingers and toes. In just a few minutes, you'll have a perfectly clean skeleton. One of the largest representatives of piranhas weighs up to one kilogram. But how big should the jaws be so that they can eat Arnold, including all of his bones? Let's increase the size of the piranha teeth by six times. Such teeth can easily cut the bones into tiny little fragments. Piranhas are the janitors of the rivers, Arnie. They leave absolutely nothing to rot at the bottom of the Amazon. Well, that is, except for hair. Even fish think your hair is stupid, Arnie. The average distance from Earth to the moon is 384,467 kilometers, and every year the moon moves three and a half centimeters further away. In the entire history of humanity so far, only 12 people have stepped on the surface of the moon. You will be the 13th. I agree, it's not the luckiest number, but just imagine, there'll be no one on the moon except for you. True, this ain't Miami. The temperature is minus 173 degrees Celsius. And everywhere you go, there's radiation 200 times higher than on Earth. So you can't do it without a spacesuit. But in the meantime, as a tourist, you can check into the hotel. Although construction isn't slated until 2025. Let's go to the far side of the moon. Especially because there's a bunch of cool equipment left there by astronauts. Arnold, jump into the lunar rover, start the engine, and drive. Believe it or not, there are a few lunar seas. Only, they're not filled with water, but solidified lava. Arnold, wrong pedal! Hit the brake! Congratulations, Arnold. You just smashed into the U-22 Chinese lunar rover. And you damaged your spacesuit. Oh, no. Don't worry, Arnold. Help is on the way. True, it's gonna take him three days to get here. And try to conserve your oxygen. We flew too far. More precisely, the sun pulled us in. Now, to overcome its gravitational pull and reach Mercury, we'll need more fuel than we would to leave the solar system. Huh, it worked out somehow. It's dead hot to the left and ice cold to the right. I'll drop you at the junction point. The temperature there is about minus 100 degrees. Great plan! Or it could be, if we were on Earth. You can't slow down with a parachute here. Almost all of Mercury's gases have scattered into space due to its weak magnetic field and gravity. What a beautiful sight. Mercury is three times closer to the sun than the Earth, so the sun looks much bigger here. You idiot! Mercury also rotates, but one day here is equal to 88 days on Earth. Pick your butt up and run! Gravity is 62% weaker than on Earth, so your already puny 40 kilograms is just 15 here. <laughs> now you weigh about the same as my cat. Don't move! Yep, moisture comes out of the body. Stomach gases are pushed out. I told you not to drink Coke before we left. The fluid in your soft tissues turns to gas. This explains the bloating. And stop! Ten seconds. Great! Your brain and heart are still working, and death would have come in 80 seconds. Our next stop is Jupiter. Calm down, breathe deeper. Inhale, exhale. Breathe. Dive! With its powerful gravity, Jupiter's pull is two and a half times stronger than on Earth. Your speed is that of a Bugatti sports car, 430 kilometers per hour. Now row out of here, you blockhead! You can't even imagine what it is. 
Three words, Great Red Spot. This is the most powerful hurricane in our solar system. Its winds reach 600 kilometers per hour. Our entire beloved planet Earth could be swallowed up by this maelstrom in the blink of an eye. You've descended to 156 kilometers. This is the limit of human exploration. The dense atmosphere doesn't allow for transmission of radio signals or light. This is a zone of high electrical activity, so lightning bolts a thousand kilometers long are quite common. The pressure at a depth of 20,000 kilometers is more than three million times that on Earth. And the temperature reaches 10,000 degrees Celsius. And you're still alive. What a great suit we made. And what if we do this? Wow, that was fast. Enough for today.